Hi my dear students, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we are talking about the second biology lesson of your class 10th NCRT textbook. This video is specially dedicated for class 10 students, those who are studying in both Karnataka State Board as well as in the CBSE Board. So let us begin this video. Dear students, as you all know that control and coordination is a very important lesson. And in this lesson, whichever the concept that we are dealing are very important and they are very interesting too. So let me summarize the concept that we deal in this lesson. Firstly, we will talk about what is control and coordination. Secondly, we will deal with the coordination in case of control and coordination in case of animals. Under that, we will talk about nervous system and the classification of nervous system. Secondly, we will talk about the endocrine system in case of control and coordination in animals. After dealing with the control and coordination in animals, we will also talk about the coordination in case of plants. Under that, we will talk about the directional movement of plants and the non-directional movement of plants. And finally, we will talk about the hormones and their importance in case of plants. So this is the over overview of this lesson. So let me now begin with the first concept. So this video is completely uh, based on the introduction. So the upcoming videos, I'll be posting one on the other concepts. So do watch all the videos, understand all the concepts in a very crystal clear manner. Any doubt that you find related to this particular lesson, you can drop that question in the comment area. Right. So then let us begin with the concept control and coordination. What is the meaning of control and coordination? As a word, individually, you all will be knowing what is control. See, controlling is nothing but you're having hold on something. What is the meaning of coordination? Coordination is nothing but there should be a proper synchronization. I hope you all got what is the meaning of synchronization. Say for example, if there is a dance competition in the school or if there is a dance event in the uh, you know school day uh, event. So what you all will do, you all will thoroughly practice for the dance event. You make sure that all of you will move your hands, legs, you know, in a proper way. That means everyone will do the dance when somebody look the look at your dance, they should feel that so okay they have they have done very well. There is a proper coordination. They say this word coordination. That means there is a synchronization. Okay, so that is the meaning of the word called synchronization. But in this lesson, what is the meaning of control and coordination? So in the when I talk about this lesson. Control and coordination is nothing but it is the synchronization of various organs. So what are the things that are getting synchronized here? Various organs present in your body. See there is brain, there is heart, there are lungs. Like that many organs are there in your body, right? All those organs should have a proper synchronization, right? Whatever your brain is telling, your hands should do that, correct? If your brain says right and if your hand says I know I don't write, then is there any synchronization between these two? No, right? Correct. So this is called synchronization. Synchronization plays a very important role in case of body. So it is the synchronization between various organs of the body to perform the vital activities of the life. Okay. So in your you know life, we perform that is in our life, we perform various activities. We perform respiration, we perform digestion, we perform excretion, correct? So we also, you know, send the blood to different parts of our body through transportation, right? Many life process takes place in our body. And for all those life process to take place in our body, there should be synchronization between various organs of the body, correct? So that is the control and coordination that we talk in this lesson. So please note down the definition of control and coordination with respect to this lesson. It is the, it is the synchronization. It is the synchronization. It is the synchronization between, between various organs of the body, various organs of the body, of the body, to perform, to perform.
perform the vital vital is nothing but important vital life activities life activities or we can also say life process this is the meaning of control and coordination so in this lesson firstly i am explaining you control and coordination in case of animals so we consider ourselves also as an animal right we are all animals right so how does the coordination how does the control happens in our body so we are going to deal with that so in case of animals control and coordination is mainly taken care by two important system which are those firstly it is the nervous system and followed by endocrine system dear students make sure you will understand these two system in a very clear way if you find any concepts you don't understand please note down those points in the comment area i'll try to clear those you know uh, doubts or the concepts in the upcoming sessions too right so firstly we need to know see control and coordination control and coordination control and coordination in animals in animals in animals is is taken care by is taken care by two important system one is nervous system nervous system and the secondly it is endocrine system nervous system and the secondly it is endocrine system so we will first talk about nervous system what is nervous system nervous system what is it telling it is telling about nerves what is nerve nerve i hope you all have remembered about nerve cell you all have studied about nerve cell in the class 9 tissues lesson there was nervous system concept nerve is nothing but it is the it is the basic structural and functional unit of nervous system nerve cell or we also say it as neuron i hope you got it a word called neuron neuron is nothing but nerve cell the both are same what is meant by neuron or nerve cell it is the basic unit of nervous system like how we have cell as the basic unit of our life you all know what is the meaning of cell right it is the basic structural and functional unit of every living organism in the same way nerve or nerve cell or we can say neuron it is the basic structural and functional unit of nervous system please note down this what is neuron or what is nerve cell you should know before we getting into the concept called nervous system where is this nervous system present it is present in the areas where there are nerves in our body okay so do all the parts of the body has nervous system what is the advantage of nervous system what is the disadvantage of nervous system all those things we will continue in the next video until then stay tuned